Have you ever been in desperate need for God? Have you ever cried out to the heavens? This video is not about preaching to God or preaching religion. This is about when you're in desperate need for help and you have no way to turn and you don't know what to do. That's why I've made this because there are instances in everybody's life where there's no friends, no family, and there's nobody in the world that can help you but the hand of God. And if you don't understand that and you feel helpless and hopeless, that's just not the case. And you could feel the power of God every day. And you don't need to feel desperate. You don't need to feel hopeless and helpless. All you do need to do is to reach out to God and ask for help. Sometimes you don't even ask for help and angels appear. Just a month ago, I had a friend of mine who was an elderly gentleman who was alone. His wife passed away. A very kind man. And he had nobody really to look out for him. So I decided to bring him food the night before he had surgery. So bring him his favorite things to eat so he'll be strong. So that's what I did. I got him everything he liked and he had up to midnight to eat. So I went there and tried to build him up and cheer him up and I left his house about 12.30. And I went to this restaurant called Popeyes in New York just to get an iced tea. They have delicious iced tea. And I went there, and they didn't have any left. And there were two kids online, and I had the money out already, and they said, yo man, give me that $5. I'll give you the iced tea. I just walked away, being a native New Yorker, I knew it was trouble. And then, they followed me. The guy says to me, yo man, I want your five dollars. I said, sorry. Yo man, I'm going to the Bronx. I need that five dollars. He said, I'm sorry. I need the five dollars. He said, yo man, I need that five dollars. While this is going on, a New York City bus driver sees what's going on and he pulls up the bus while these guys are trying to rob me. The other guy tells the other guy to shoot me. As I'm approaching and running on the bus. I get on the bus, I thank the bus driver with all my heart and soul. And that's the end. But it's not. When I told people the story, the reaction is so interesting. I said, were the guys black? I said, yeah, they were black. But so was the bus driver who saved my life. Angels come in all colors. Chinese, Japanese, white, black, orange, yellow, pink, Jewish, Muslim, Christian, Buddhist, Hindu. Angels are everywhere. Hate no one. Love everyone. I'm a citizen of the universe. And that bus driver who was black was my angel. He didn't come in a white feathered uniform. He didn't have white feathers on. He had a black afro. And he was my angel. Yes, it's true, those kids were black. There's good and bad in everybody. There are good Jews and bad Jews, good Muslims and bad Muslims, good Hindus and bad Hindus. 
There's good and bad with all of us. Those that are prejudiced lose. Those that hate, hate themselves. I just wanted to share with you this miracle where God saved my life through this angel. And that's why God matters. Because if you love everybody and you hate nobody, you'll have a good relationship with the big boss.